Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Give It A Shot. Give it a shout. Give it a shout is a series where I play a game I've never played before, so it's worth playing a little bit more. Up to date we have San Francisco, 2064. I think it's about to introduce it to you. Oh yeah. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Oh, that would be nice. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day. Mega Man, jack in, execute. Connect with one another with advanced <laughs> brain to machine technology. Battle network. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. Oh boy, here we go. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Oh boy. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite oh, the like androids from goal, Alien. They are only brainless machines. What was his name? Sam in the first one? I can't remember. Seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. I mean, I kind of get that. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer. Social media. Am I right? <laughs> Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Oh, it's a robot. Yo. It's twenty sixty four read only memories, a new cyberpunk adventure. Is the game we're playing on give it a shot? It's a first impression series, you know the type. Uh Okay, there we go. Thinking, let's get into this, y'all. What are we waiting for? Prologue. Yeah, da da da. Good music. Ah, uh, home sweet home. <laughs> Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. <laughs> well, clean it up, dude. Like, that's kind of on you. Turn it on, look at... Use an item on it. Use your ID card on the sink. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, clean the dang sink, my man. Nice. Dude. I love a good pair of headphones. You know, ironically, for doing YouTube stuff, I use uh, kind of a ho-hum pair of earbuds. They're not really that good. Plant. Use it. Talk to it. Aw, oh, gee. Well, I had a bamboo plant like that once. What can I say? Drink it. Old stale coffee, the letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. Alrighty. I'll take the book. More useful holding up the window. Boy, this guy's a bit of a nihilist, huh? Well, not maybe not a nihilist, but... You know, everything's bad, end of the world, yada yada yada. Get on your lappy. Okay, so I'm on a, I'm on a laptop inside of a game on my computer. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. As much as I want to watch Pretend YouTube, we do need to get to work on this article. For these dang headphones, you should test them out around the apartment first. Alright, alright, alright. Log out of there. Let's uh, slap these bad boys on. Play music. Oh, we got an achievement. Is that, uh... Hey! I like the music of this game. 
I found that out pretty early on before I even started this uh, recording. Cool. Welcome to Neo San Francisco. Play it. I was about to say this track doesn't even work. These headphones are bogus. No, that's cool. Home, not sweet home. You know what? Okay, there's only one more. I, I think I need to do it for like the thing. But now go back. Okay, we'll look at them. Awesome. Now let's let's write a review. I like them. <laughs> These headphones are okay. Or you could just use them to watch a stream on the computer for a while. Well, don't I need to do the article? Oh man, my work ethic is. Oh. Video game streams will have concert recordings and live cans of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Labby speakers feel like electric, but now you have the first name experience. You need to start actually writing the review. Oh, okay. Okay, great. N now let's write the review. I thought we just had to listen to music. Let's get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul. Bit by bit. Character by character finished well okay you know what you it doesn't have to be a bad thing you're getting paid to write an article that I assume you were honest about you're to get out of poverty in a book deal work is finally out of the way all right let's get to bed read some okay today and catch up on some news oh Okay, so this is um, spam mail. Let's read that. Only 99 credits for 30 day supply of 212 stims. That is a great deal. Sign me up. Princess Emma Thomas. Oh, hi. Digital Empire to that. Okay, I'm ready today. I need your help to secure my great fortune. Mm hmm. 420. That's I, That started with 420. You can't squeeze a. 420 reference, uh, you can't pull the wool over my eyes for that. What is this email? Okay, that's great. Bill, past due. I'm very familiar with that in real life. I play games to escape. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You, you know? Oh, man. Well, we better take up the princess on our offer. Food or electricity? Choose food. Electricities. I mean... Choose food. Food keeps you alive. WTF sounds, formerly OMG sounds. <laughs> okay, we're doing da, 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 da. hot talent to perform their work. Love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. Oh, is that who I did it for? Great exposure. Oh, don't give me, don't give me great exposure. Hey, if anyone out there is writing for exposure, demand uh, a flat fee first of all for turning in the thing, then um, if they advertise on the site, which of course they do, uh, a percentage of that based on who clicks through. Oh, I, I, did, I was too busy lecturing people on how to... Five credits back on Hassie Infinity? Oh... Dude! An invitation to a Halloween party. Oh, Christmas tree downtown. Okay. Almost exactly the opposite. Same quarter of the year. Uh, very different meanings behind the two. Weekly update. What's going on at VTech? Classic technology. The king of click. A retrospective on the classic model and keyboard. Oh, unsubscribe. I mean, alright. Oh, okay. Well, that is true to life too, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's go back. Is that not working? Hello? Back, please. Oh! No duh. Okay, alright, alright, alright. All right. Let's go to OK Today. Let's read some news. People in Neo, Oklahoma are still confused by the name. Called the Scan Line. 
They're usually about feel-good news. We call those human interest stories in the books. If it's a if it's a story about like a puppy who can speak sign language, that's a human interest story. It doesn't. Um... I mean, it's nice to read. It's not hard-hitting news. Uh, examine the headline. I'm just gonna read it. Remains vigilant and hashtag stay human protest in the upper market. December 19th, the human revolution on day 10 of their protesting. Alright, so they're just, they're against people turning themselves into robots. Oh, that's my phone. Always on loud ring. Uh, I don't know why I don't just turn it off or turn it down, but here we are. I'm playing God in the most senseless of ways. You know what? I am not excited about reading that story. Listen, man, you don't have to do it, okay? Hey, it's Charlie oh. Nova, host of Star in the Stars. Okay, hello, Charlie. In the Stars. Join Ryan V. Jossio and the Hassy Boys. The Hassy Boys. TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2025. Oh, is that a... Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show. Sounds like a Christmas song. Yeah, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Um, let's just read the headline. I'm, I'm not trying to read a sports story. My goodness gracious, Johnny Hollywood today in the in the one twenty minute period. Uh, examine the headline for local news. Just yeah, broken down Froyo stand. That's simply not gonna do. Let's go back. Uh, we got an inbox. We got a thing. Let's log out, dude. Let's let's get you to bed, huh? Just sleep. You're fine. There you go. Oh. Are you welcome? Are you allowed to be here, friend? What are you, what are you doing on my desk, bud? Ah, good. You're finally awake. Oh my gosh. Well, you're very, you know, very cute little robot. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Six to eight hours is, is generally. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? What? What the hecky? <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind. Now you just let yourself in. I had some spare time on my hands. So I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. Why didn't done, you clean my I sink? I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for yeah. the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Well, you didn't touch the sink. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer. Please don't interface with my I computer. run into a bit of a snag. Yeah? A snag? I'm not even. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. Okay. The electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. What are you getting at? I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Okay, you know what? Don't victim blame me. All my work was on there. Don't fret. I'm fretting. I managed to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Oh, thank you. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. Okay. It is the least I can do. How did you break in here? That's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's get to the meat of it. This game is like super cute and fun. But I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden? You know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. Oh, okay, great. 
I haven't seen that old so and so in over a year. That's oh. That's why I'm here. Help me. You are quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. Okay. I uh, start from the beginning. The beginning. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Ah. <gasps> No, not Hayden. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. Okay. I crawled out of a window and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Okay. Let's try that. I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, Directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive. You were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. Oh, dude, you were so right. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Yeah, I was just here all night. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. That's the that's what I would say. About your Play skills, yourself, not the character. I admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. Amen. This robot might as well be talking right to me. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Yeah. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late and has warned Oh boy, me to drugs. Hard, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. Okay. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Well, yeah, that, at that point maybe just make a job offer. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax. Oh, okay. He already no works. That alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. <gasps> ah. Ah, excuse me. Okay. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Hi, Turing. Oh, like a Turing test. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Oh, dear. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. Yeah. I'm a personal side project of his. Exploring I like that they animate the portrait. Sapiens. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his Who made this game? This is so themselves. creative. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. Oh. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming when you talk to them. Well, you have artificial They're intelligence. Programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. Oh, that's neat. But Machine learning. My ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. <gasps> oh, he's like a daddy. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? Would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I was about to say, I think we're getting a little heavy. I apologize for the tangent. Yeah, let's get rolling. Time is of the essence. 
I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here oh, to Jane's me. apartment to your personal finance account. And the car has just arrived. I can totally afford that. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll do it. He, he's an old friend. I'm going to go help. That's all the context I have right now. All right, 12, 21, 20, 64. Rooster crowing the beginning of the day. What's strange? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Oh. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Okay, let's hear it. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. Okay, so that answers At that. that. Means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Oh, a lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Ah, <gasps> yes, we can get into the, the apartment. Has far better security than yours does. Well, I'm poor. You made your point about the door. Let's just head in. <laughs> we can get frustrated with him, or we can join him. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Oh, it looks like there's like a bowl of crayons on the floor over here. Could have fought off a serious assault. You can see my mouse. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Hm, of course not. How silly. Oh, okay. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Dang, so you could turn on me at any time, dude. To code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Well, why didn't you help your friend? Please don't. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Oh, God. Okay. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. You know what, Turing? You're taking a lot of time talking. We gotta rescue Hayden. Hayden. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. Aww. But I... Well, if you're strong enough to rip people's arms off, you should have. You know what? Yeah. What's done is done. Excellent point. Let's just do our thing. Let's start searching for clues. Okay, great. Well, you know what? This was uh, 2064 Read Only Memories, and then there was a second subtitle that I can't remember. Something about Cyberpunk Adventure. Uh, this was... I didn't expect to like it at all. Uh, it turns out I loved it uh, in, in its entirety. Well, in the entire 23 minutes and 13 seconds that I played it. I'm going to continue it. Not sure if I'll make it a series or not. There's there's a lot of text and a lot of talking, so I'm not sure if it'd be action-packed enough or anything like that. But hey, let me know. Maybe I'll continue it right now. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I can't see the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Yo, being copyright claimed. Don't hit me with your blame. Because you chose to play the game. 2064 read only memories in English from 2017. Mid boss version 64.1.1.1. Keep it rolling! Hey! Oh my gracious. Oh my goodness. Click on options. Here we go now. Hold on. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty great. Feeling so good. Gotta go outside and rake the leaves because it's fall. Just kidding. Kidding with y'all.